Hey guys, good morning. Uh, it is... No, it's not morning. Good afternoon. It is 12.20 on a Tuesday. I haven't vlogged much lately. I don't know why, I just wasn't really in the mood for it. Um, but I just came back from grocery shopping with Kevin. We went early in the morning. It was a bit more quiet. Australia was pretty much back to normal. Um, our cafes and restaurants have opened up. We can have up to like 10 people, but it's kind of nice to see everyone just kind of bouncing back and supporting local businesses. The neighbor's kids are in the backyard, if you can hear that. Um, yes, yeah, so we just went grocery shopping for the week. I got a little basil plant, which I am really excited about, but I had a plant like six years ago, so I did used to live alone when I was at uni and um, that place was a lot darker because it was kind of just one window in the entire place but um, I remember trying to grow coriander and it just died and I think I did it twice so I was a bit hesitant about getting another plant because I don't know if I can keep it alive but I'm gonna try because I always buy basil for Thai food for pastas it's just I love the smell of it and I think basil is a lot easier to grow than coriander but I'm gonna try this first this was only four dollars I thought they were more expensive than that but then just buying a bunch of basil anyways about like 250 so I'm like let me try this see how long I can keep it alive I think I'm gonna keep it over on the kitchen trolley because um, there's quite a lot of light during the day and in the afternoon it's the um, afternoon light anyway so this week is I feel like I've been floating all over the place but still kind of productive. It's weird. I'm in a weird mood. But this week is um, a big workshop patron week. We are doing a live stream, which I am so excited for. I'm just going to hang out with my workshop patrons. It's going to be a private one. Um, I've been debating whether to make it public or private, but I think I'm going to stick with private and see how that goes. So it's just kind of like a small hangout session where we play games so I am going to try Animal Crossing <laughs> for the first time. I'm going to stream that. I have no idea. I'm just assuming that it's going to be easy but I really have to test how to set up the stream. I've seen Kevin do it because he's streamed before but yeah I'm going to stream Animal Crossing and play some Scribble and we'll just see how it goes. Uh, and I also need to get the workshop video out this week. So the topic for this month is product photography and editing tips so I'm going to put that all in one video. I have a feeling it might be a pretty long video because I'm going to try to put as as much information as I can in there so that's kind of what I'll be working on in the next few days. Uh, update, I have finished my Sudoku book. Did I say that right? Yeah. <laughs> I finally finished it. I feel like I've been spending so much time doing that because I could see the end of it and I started getting really obsessed with finishing it but I have officially finished it so that booklet is gone. I've had that for probably over eight years. Like I've had that for a really long time and um, like it seemed like an awesome idea at the time because I was like oh I can like do Sudoku on the train and there was a lot of Sudoku puzzles but I finally finished and it feels so good to get rid of it. Um, oh yeah you would have seen that I have a big monitor now so Kevin was doing some rearranging. So there's three monitors but he wanted to get rid of one just temporarily to see what it looks like so he kind of gave it to me. I was a little bit hesitant because I'm like no I'm fine with my laptop with my little 12 inch screen. I like how minimal and portable it is but as soon as he put it there it looks really good and it's awesome. I used to work with two screens. I don't know if I ever showed it on the studio vlog. I don't think so but I used to have two screens especially when I was working at the startup. I'm pretty used to working with two screens. I just decided to make my like workspace a bit cleaner and get rid of the extra sh screen but now I'm back and yeah I really like it. So I'm just gonna rest of the day probably just work on the video notes just try to get like the script and all the information down so I don't uh, forget anything. What else do I have to do this week? I decided to skip the newsletter for this month because uh, there wasn't really much to update on so I'm gonna save some of the small updates for next month but um, I decided to not list 
the cat stickers yet so you would have seen that from the how i make stickers video i i really loved it at first but now that i'm thinking about it i'm not super happy with it so i might go back and rethink it maybe redraw some add some new stickers We'll see. Um, anyway, I feel kind of disappointed that I've changed my mind about it, but like I want to love it before I put it out. The craft stickers are ready to go out. I've edited some of the photos, but I took it when it was really dark, so I think I really I need to retake those photos. But this area where I usually take the photos is really like cluttered, so I kind of need to clean that up. I don't think I've shown you guys either but last week I worked on some stickers and I showed my patrons a sneak peek on the lens but I haven't showed you guys yet. I just wanted to have fun with like little abstract looking coloured stickers. I'll show you what I mean. I haven't printed it out yet but I'm pretty happy with them. I think I'm gonna print them out on clear sticker paper. Can you see that? Is that too bright? <laughs> Anyway, I'll, that's so hard to show you. I'll put a picture up. But I think maybe I will print that out today. Why not? I don't know why I made it and then kind of just like left it there. But it was nice. I kind of created it without any aim. I was just letting myself be creative. So I might print that out and photograph that. I mean, I need some samples to take a photo of for the workshop video. So maybe I can use that in the craft stickers and take photos that I actually need. That's a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna add that to the list because I haven't actually done that yet. So that's pretty much all I've got for today. I'm just gonna work on the video notes. Hopefully I get it all finished today and um, print out those stickers and maybe clean up a little bit. Um, another update is that I have decided, I haven't done it yet, but I've decided to do fortnightly or as you might call it, bi-weekly. That was a really weak <laughs> brevity. Um, fortnightly or bi-weekly podcasts. So every two weeks uh, for my patrons because yes, it's a little bit more work, but I feel like I just want to talk more. I just want to engage more with my patrons and I feel like the podcast is a really, a really fun way to do that. And I found that I always forget what I say after a month. Like, I forget what happens in a month. And I feel like two weeks is kind of like the sweet spot to update and to just talk about what's going on and stuff. Because I feel like even though it sounds like it's not very long, two weeks, a lot can happen in two weeks. So, yeah, that's about it. I want to show you my new pot. I've already shown you guys, but it's really cute. So, wait, Kevin says he looks like a hedgehog. Probably does. And he's sitting next to me right now. I don't know if it's a good idea to take him away from the bookshelf because he seemed pretty happy over there and I've moved my Monstera over there temporarily because I don't have a pot for it yet. But that's just where I'm at right now. Okay. Bye. Put them there. It might affect the way that people view your portfolio. So, yeah, that's it. I was cutting my bangs and I flipped. <laughs>
spent the last 10 minutes making another stamp. I have been kind of obsessed with making stamps now. So last night, I think for about two hours, I was, maybe not two, no two. It takes a while to like kind of carve it out, but um, I have these stamps now. It is really fun to do. And I'll show you the page where I was kind of like working on it. Focus. So I love that the block is so thick that I can do double-sided. So that's what I've done. I've got a rainbow one and a leaf, I, which I don't know which one I showed you. <laughs> and I've got a lemon one here and I kind of messed this one up. So I kind of want to do it again because I really love the rainbow one, but I'm slowly getting better and better at it. That's the latest one that I did. Um, so I, all the white parts is what I've carved out and the black is where I've stamped it. So you can kind of see what you get as a stamp. These are lino blocks and I just realized I haven't talked about it. Oh, I just turned off the music. So these are lino blocks and I kind of just bought this gigantic, did I talk about this yet? I don't think so. I bought this gigantic carving block I double sided and that's all I've used so far. Just this part so it's awesome I get to I love that I have so much to use and I have so much left because the fact that it's double-sided means I save a lot of space anyway it's really cool these are really messy but like I'm super obsessed with stamps and I love it because it's just kind of like an alternative to stickers but instead of wasting sticker paper you can just use an ink pad ink pads are not cheap either the one I bought was $20 but I'm assuming that it's going to last a while Anyway, I'm going to try to give that a break now because I could happily carve new stamps all day. That's what happens when you get into a new project. It's really exciting. You just kind of like put all your focus on that. But I do have work that needs to be done. So because I was doing that yesterday, I didn't finish the video notes. So that definitely needs to be done today. And um, I didn't get the sticker sheets printed either. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that now. Print out the sticker sheets so that I don't keep delaying it because it's a fairly quick task so I'll do that first and work on the video notes that's all I've got so far um yeah that's it my I don't think I told you guys about this we I don't know if you heard that scream we made a very bad purchase <laughs> we bought a coffee machine it's one of the espresso ones that this is how I describe it to Kevin the ones that make those noises so you actually tamper in the uh, I don't know the coffee terminology I'm not gonna pretend um, you put the coffee ground coffee into the um, the espresso tray <laughs> and then you like tamper it down and you put it into the machine and then the machine squirts hot water down into it anyway one of those proper ones and it's a smeg that's why it was a naughty decision because it is so beautiful but it was on sale and we already talked about it and then we wanted it so we are upgrading from our mocha pot to that machine and that should be coming today that's it for today i'm gonna finish my coffee and print some stickers Bye. and I thought it was a cockroach and I was getting really really paranoid <laughs> and then I realized that the window is open I mean I knew it was open but I didn't realize it was making the noises with the plastic here it was making this noise um and it was scaring the crap out of me but problem solved <laughs> maybe, maybe there is a roach in there I don't know but uh I realized that the sound was coming from that Ugh.
to make the white outline for the stickers and then I just started cutting out the actual like lines. Oh my gosh. I'm an idiot. I don't know how I forgot. Anyway, so this is all ruined, but this side hasn't been cut yet. Thank God. So um, I'm going to have to go back to the iPad and draw the white outlines for it. Oh, I've never done that before. Thank mm -hmm. you. 